What's up, everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Today, I want to share with you what I think is the number one fastest way to learn any programming language or framework, or the fastest way to become more proficient at a language that you love. So let's say you're a C Sharp .NET developer, you've been working in it for a while, and you can get the job done. You're able to use Stack Overflow, you understand programming fundamentals, and you're doing fine but you have a really shallow understanding of the language and you want to go deeper. You're not able to really internalize those underlying concepts of the language or framework. And you want to get better. You want to master the language. Well, that's what I want to help you with today. And I'm going to do so by giving you a real life example of something that happened to me about a year ago. Quick disclaimer, as I've stated in my previous videos, I'm still traveling and my video equipment is kind of limited, thus the um, subpar video quality. So bear with me. And if you happen to hear any turkeys or goats or anything like that, they're right outside my window. About a year ago, I got really interested in React. I love JavaScript anyway, and I started working in React and I just fell in love with it. And I thought, I can build things, but I really don't understand a lot of what's going on under the hood. Like if I go to the documentation, most of that I really couldn't explain to people. I could make it work, but I couldn't explain it. And I really wanted to get to a point where I could. So I did some Udemy courses. If you look at my Udemy here, I actually have eight React courses. And you can see some of them I've only done a little bit with. I jumped around, maybe I was looking for a certain thing I needed to learn. And you'll see the one I benefited most from was this React for the Rest of Us course. Maybe it was one of the first ones I did, but um, that's one that stuck out to me a lot, one that helped me a lot. But here's what usually happened. I start the course, I start learning the fundamentals, and I start building this project along with the instructor. And I'd go all the way to the end of the course, or 68% of the course, and I'd have this project, and I'd feel good about myself. But then when I got off on my own, I couldn't do all of that stuff. And so I would buy another course. So let's say the modern React with Redux course or the build an app with React, Redux and Firestore from scratch course. And I don't know why these percentages are so low. I know I did more than this. Anyway, the point is that I would just grab another course. The beginning of the course would be super easy because I know that part of it, but I thought if I could just build another project, I'll really understand this. And this didn't work out for me. And I'm sure the same is happening with you. And you just haven't internalized this stuff. So here's what I did. I did something that I think might seem basic to you at this point, but if you really hear me out and do this, you'll really grow as a developer and you'll really grow in that language. So I'm gonna show you an app that I built a year ago called the Note Taker app. Very unique, huh? But it's built in React with a Firestore backend. So the data persists to Cloud Firestore, which is a managed Google cloud database that's real popular with React. So if you look at this, you're, you're probably thinking, this looks pretty simple, Travis, okay? There's nothing fancy about this. But let me tell you, there are a lot of moving parts. And this project alone taught me so much. And just to show you a little bit of it, again, it's nothing fancy, but I was very proud of it when I finished it. But you can add a note here and get this fresh palette over here to the right. So I can create a title, uh, my title. And down here, I can enter some text. And you'll see it updates here on the left. I think I set it to update every like three seconds. So when I'm typing, if I stop for three seconds, it persists it to the database. Whatever it is, it's pretty nice. Up here, I have some options to bold the text or do an underline or do some uh, formatting. I also created categories so that I can categorize posts. So I only have three created here, but I can say, hey, this, this one is in the general category and I can give it a color to help sort everything. Over here on the left, I can choose Different notes, I can click delete up here and delete the note from my database, and that updates real time. Over here, I can sort my categories. I can choose only the language category or the general category, and then I can reset it to show all categories. Now, again, you might think this is a very simple app, but it's much more. There's a lot of stuff going on. So my point here is this. I decided to jump away from the courses for a while and build something substantial. I didn't want to do another to-do app. I wanted to pick something that I would start from scratch with and have to wrestle with and have to go to the documentation with and have to really understand what I'm doing to get it done. So I started this app. I chose AntD as my CSS framework. I chose Redux for my state management, which is probably overkill. I chose Firebase as my backend, so I had to figure that out. And then along the way, I had to write clean code, I had to refactor, I had to manage the state, and I ran into all kinds of frustrating issues. So things were triggering twice, or there were some kind of hooks that I'd never used before. 
And I spent so much time in the documentation and I wrestled with so many concepts that I came out the other side of it knowing way more than I would with any Udemy course or number of Udemy courses that I could have taken and followed along with. It really helped me internalize the React framework to the point where after I was done, I could really explain concepts like I couldn't before. Because I put in the sweat, I wrestled with the concepts, and I came out the other side with a much greater understanding. So what's my point here? My point is to really get better at a language or framework or to learn a new language or framework, it's a two-step process. Number one, you gotta learn the material. So do the Udemy course. Udemy courses are great. You gotta learn the material. So buy a course, work all the way through it, learn the fundamentals, build the app. Maybe you need to do two courses. That worked for me. I think I did two, maybe three courses. But learn the syntax, learn the fundamentals, know the documentation, be able to then go off on your own and make something. Then second, come up with a substantial, fairly complex project to build. No to-do apps, but think of something that's gonna take you several weeks to several months to build. And then go for it. Open up VS Code or whatever you use and start building your project. And I guarantee you within couple of days, you're going to run into problems. You're going to have to go to the documentation. You're going to have to start understanding the concepts for real, not just getting by, but really understanding the stuff. You're going to sweat. You're going to be frustrated at times. You're going to feel like quitting. But if you just push through and finish the project, you will be a much, much better developer with that language or framework. And you'll have a project in GitHub to show future employers. And it won't be, hey, I followed this course. It'll be, this is something I built from scratch that I wrestled with. These are the things I learned from that project. And this is why you should hire me because I made this awesome thing. So again, a very simple concept, but from my experience, it's a life changer. And I hope this was really helpful for you. If it was, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. What kind of things are you building? Do you have any apps planned? If so, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.